Hey everyone, my name is Shelby. Welcome back to Raising Wellness. This channel is all about helping you live your best life, whether that's through fitness, through nutrition, through goal setting, mindset wellness. If you are into any of that, if you feel like that is right with your vibe or something that you need in your life, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. There's also a watermark on one of these sides. I can never remember which one it is. And that will let you guys know when I come out with new videos. Also hit the little bell on there so that you're alerted every time a new video comes out. This video specifically is all about my Rock My Dreams Now video series and I'm doing it with and I'm collaborating with Soul Ballard. So we're both creating videos that run parallel with each other for six weeks so that you have both the practical and the spiritual tools to truly rock your dreams and bring all those ideas down into reality for your life. So if you are just coming to this video series, then go check out my playlist and watch the first, second, third video before you watch this one because you'll be all confused and it'll just stress you out. So I urge you to go back now if you haven't, but if you're here with us again and moving forward with the fourth week, then congratulations. You're amazing. You're doing wonderful things, and I hope that you have been able to put all of these tools that we've given you into action. Today, we're building upon the last video, and so far, you have discovered your why. You've become very clear on where you are allocating your time, money, and emotions, and if that is in alignment with your truth, your dreams, and your goals. You've also been uh, becoming very clear on what that vision looks like so that you can draw it into yourself. And last week we talked all about mantras so that you can continuously have that energy and draw that energy of your vision, your goals, and your dreams into your reality. So now we're going to take that mantra and we're going to start building it into the structures of your life. So what does that mean? That's what we're going to cover today. And what that means is that we are going to create some rituals. These rituals are meant to help you remember your why, to instill that fire again and make you re-envision your dreams and your goals every single day so that you can stay focused, you can stay intentional in your actions. Remember when it comes to your time, money, and emotions to have them align with your why. So by always reminding yourself of what your why is, what that vision is, what your dreams and goals are, you're more likely to stay true to it and to align your life with it more appropriately. It's been shown that many a successful person have developed these structures into their life. Whether it's the first thing that they do is they wake up and go work out, they have built that ritual, that healthy, positive ritual into their life because it makes them feel good. It amps them up and it reminds them that I am powerful, I am purposeful, and I am here for a reason. So if working out isn't your thing, you don't have to start there. That's personally what I do. Working out is like my meditation. But if that's not your thing, then start with something that you already do. So what are some things a lot of us already do? Brush your teeth, right? You brush your teeth every day, I hope. And so what you can do during that time where you're just kind of staring yourself in the mirror, brushing your teeth, you can repeat your why to yourself in your head, unless you're really talented and then you can talk it out loud. You might have to clean your mirror afterwards. <laughs> but repeat your mantra in your head. So for me, I feel blessed now that I have time to spend with family and friends and conjure up that feeling, that, that feeling that you feel blessed, you feel so excited and overjoyed to be doing whatever it is your why is, to finally feel that freedom. So conjure up that feeling and know it so well that it is feels real and practice it. It's not gonna be perfect. It's not gonna be amazing the first couple goes at it, but practice it reinstill that habit to be a positive one that builds you up every single day. It's so simple. You brush your teeth for two minutes, just 
talk in your head, talk your mantra, your positive mantra. You can build it into when you drink coffee or tea in the morning, bring your mantra out then, conjure up that vision and that feeling, work on envisioning that every single day, whatever, whatever your vision of your dream life is. Put that into play when you take a sip of your coffee or your tea. Or you can use that time to journal or journal about positive things that you want in your life, that you have in your life. So write down things you're grateful for. Find the time and the space, I promise you have it, to build positivity into your current structures that you already have in your life. And as soon as you do that, you build it into one structure, you will see it fan out into all different habits that you've already formed in your life. You're just rewiring them because you're rewiring your mind to always be focused and intentional on your why, on your goals, and on that feeling that you want to feel in your life. So use that and you will see it fan out into all areas of your life because you are teaching your mind to go to the positive rather than to go to the negative and spiral on down you're teaching it to go to something that builds you up that lights your fire and that reignites that feeling that you have the power and that you have everything you need to go and build the life of your dreams so your homework this week is to brainstorm and figure out where you want to build this positive structure into your life. Um, if it's during lunch, if it's during brushing your teeth, drinking coffee, your commute to work, when you're making your bed, when you're doing the laundry, when you're grocery shopping, there's so many empty negative spaces that we have where we could really be using our minds for positive things that build you up. So don't waste time. Find the space and create these structures into your life. You have the power to do that. So do that and try to find the time and the ritual to do it and try to do it five out of seven times this week. And if you fall off the horse, if you forget one day, remember your emotions are your budget. You have to reallocate them. So don't give your emotions to worrying and stressing like, oh, I fell off the horse, I'm horrible, I failed. Reallocate that and jump back on the horse. Keep going. You will get better with time, I promise. It just takes consistency and practice. You've practiced your whole life building up negative thoughts that bring you down, so now it's time to reel that back and push forward with positivity because you deserve the life, the life of your dreams, don't you? Right? So be consistent. And I want you guys to go over to Soul's channel now so that you can learn that this is all divine guidance. Everything you are doing, whether you fall off the horse, whether you choose to get back on the horse, whether you're building structures into your life, or whether you've decided to to have negativity come back into your life. It's all divine guidance and it's here for you to learn. So put that out there. The universe is here, right by your side. So have no fear. You have the power to do it all. And Soul is gonna do a much more graceful job of explaining that than I can because of that is her specialty. So go over to her channel now and I hope to see you guys next week. Remember to subscribe, like this video, comment down below, and share it with those that you love. I will see you guys next time.